Hey everyone, welcome to this Outscraper tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to effortlessly, easily, and effectively scrape Google Map data through this powerful tool called Outscraper. Outscraper is one of the most advanced yet easy to operate tool that everyone can learn within a few minutes. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you guys in and out about scraping Google Map data. Before we get into the good stuff, I do want to quickly mention the disclaimer. Maybe you want to do some research or consult with a lawyer about your country's or your location's data law. The first thing we need is obviously an Outscraper account. If you don't have it, the link is in the description below. The sign up process is extremely easy. You just confirm your email and log into your dashboard. Once you log into the dashboard, you want to come into the first menu option says businesses and a POI. The first option says Google Maps data scraper. Give that a click. You're Able to load the scraper just like this. So there's a few sections we're gonna talk about it real quick. The first one is category. Here are a few suggestions: your local restaurants, your local bars, real estate agents, dentists, photographers, videographers, you name it. Whatever it can be found on Google Maps, you are able to scrape them. Or you can also click on the categories and it will load all the categories that's available for you to script. If you want to check out all the categories available, you can also click on check out all categories. This way I'll Scraper laid out entire alphabet list of all the available business categories and industries. So for demonstration purpose, I typed real estate. You can see here's an entire list that related to real estate. We have real estate school, college. In our case, let's go with something easy, which is real estate agency. Once you confirm your category, the first option you want to come to is exact match. Normally, I do check this box because by checking this box, it will find an exact match of real estate agency. So the next step is finding the country country and a location. In my case, for demonstration purpose, again, I'm going to go with the US, United States. I want to unselect all the states and I want to only go for California. If you give the drop down option a click, it will expand and show you all the cities available within that state. And notice we also have a custom location button in case you want to find a specific customized location, you want to give that a click. You can also input the zip code plus the country and it'll go ahead and script all the data within that parameter. And you can also go with a zip code. I like to go with this option is because Google normally shows you the top 500 places per query search. By checking this box, it will go ahead and find all the zip codes within that state. As a result, it will give you more increased coverage and a better result in that case. So I always go with a zip code option. The next option is going to be maximize results limits. If you only want to find, for example, 500 real estate agency in California, you want to input the number here. If you input a zero, which means it's unlimited, it will go ahead and find every single real estate agency within California. As you can see here, the rough estimate of this query has a significant large number, which can go up from 17,000 up to 67,000 results. That is a really large pool of data. So in our case, for demonstration purpose, I only want to find 50 agency. And from there, if you want to extract their email data, and let's say you want to do cold email outreach, then you do want to check ignore without emails. And I also want to delete email duplicates. So this way I don't trigger to the same email address multiple times. And then there's enrich results services, which is really important in our case, if you want to again, do cold email outreach, the main services I always go for is email and contact scraper because this is going to go find their email address, social links. And from there is email address verifier, because just by finding the email address is not good enough. A lot of people put wrong email address or this email address cannot be reached or delivered to. So in this case, we do want to verify every single email address possibly we can script. And most importantly, we're going to check their deliverability, their email format and DNS record and MX record and so forth. We have a separate tutorial on this subject. You can check out the link in the description below. You don't have to include these two options, but I personally always do just for a more accurate search results. From there, you can click on advanced parameters. Basically, you want to input the language of your preference as well as places per one query search. We have four different formats available because I'm loading onto Google Sheets eventually. So I want to go with a CSV file instead of Excel Sheets. From there, you want to add a task tag. Let's say two months down the road, you want to be able to see exactly what you have searched prior. So this way, adding a tag, it could be really helpful. So that is pretty much it. You can see it took us less than a few minutes to input all the parameters. Once you're done with this process, click on Get Data. It will give you 
a rough estimate before the confirmation. Here's a rough estimate of the time, the results, as well as the cost. This will be an overestimate. Even though this says two to four hours, in reality, it will take way less time. And the estimated result is 50 because we input the maximum results of 50. Rough cost of this entire scraping process is 15 cents. Once you're happy with this, you want to click on confirm. Click on the task page. Here is our entire task list. You can see that our current status of the task is up running. Be patient with it. This can take anywhere between a few minutes up to a few hours or even a day. Depends on how big of the data pool you're trying to script. Sit back, relax, and go get some coffee, take a break, and let the all scraper do its automation. We're going to come back in a moment. A few minutes later. All right, guys, that took around 13 to 14 minutes for this entire scraping process. So now is a moment of truth. So once you can see the status is success is green, there's a check. You want to come to the results column, click on Google Map Data, give that a click. It will download the CSV into your download folder. Now fire up your Google Sheets and you want to import the data to inspect a little bit further. Click on File and Import. You want to come to the last option that says Upload and you want to drag and drop the CSV into the box and now just let it load it up. And now I want to replace the current sheet. So from there, I do Detect automatically and click on Import Data. So now let's quickly review the data that we script throughout Scraper. The first column here is Query. So you can see it's Search for a Real Estate Agency. And the second column is the business name of this agency and we have the site URL of their website. And here is the type of the agency. And then there's a whole bunch of subtypes. Some of them might be commercial agent and some of them are real estate consultant and so forth. It will be categorized underneath subtypes. From there, we have a phone number that we pulled automatically and their address. Some of them are remote. You can see there's no address. And from there, we have a street, city, postal code, states, and uh, country. Now, really good indication of these businesses in terms of their establishment is looking at their ratings and reviews. At the bottom right corner, if I click on this, it will show me the average, meaning the average of the entire review of these agencies is around 23 in total. An average rating of of these businesses in this list is 4.8. And from there, we'll have a review link. If I open up the first one, it shows me this particular Real Team 360. It's a Real Team 360 as well. Not only we pull all the reviews, we can also check out their reviews per score. For example, the first businesses, they have a 13 reviews and all of them are five stars, right? And their total photo count here is entire list. This particular business has 3,300 photos in total. And from there, Here's a link to the photos, link to the street views. And from there, we'll have two different formats of their working hours. Another really useful data set here is business status. You can see every single one of them currently is operational. Some of them, it will tell you this is permanently closed or temporarily closed. And then another really interesting column here is a verified. You can see some of them are true, meaning this business has been verified with Google My Business, and some of them are false. Guess what? Here is a great opportunity to add value into this business, you can simply grab your phone, dial the number, call them, reaching out to them to tell them, hey, your business has not yet been verified by Google My Business. Let me help you out. That can be a really good opener to open up some more opportunities, have a conversation with them and move forward a little bit more. We have a place ID, we have a Google ID, CID and review ID. These are strings of code which each business has their unique ID attached to it. And here is the most important important column among this entire data set. That's a really, really helpful, especially if you do a marketing campaign or cold email outreach, which is the email address, right? Not only our scripper helped us to find all their business email address here, we also validated their email address. You can see the validation status. Some of them are unknown and some of them are receiving and some of them are invalid. You don't want to contact these email address because their email inbox just won't go through. From there, you can see we validated their format as well. From there, all scraper also check if this email belongs to a certain blacklist. In this case, every one of them is false. And last but not least, we also check their DNS record as well as SMTP records. Make sure their configuration is correct. Certain businesses, they list multiple email address. You can see not only email address number one, we also pulled email address number two. Not every single business have email address number two, but majority of them, you can see that they do have a secondary email address. Moving to the right, we'll have email address number three, third email found, we'll have phone number one, phone number 
two and phone number three. And last but not least, we'll have some social media link found. If this is done manually, it will take you forever to find each business, their Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and input the link here. So in this case, I'll scraper do everything automatically for you and get everything ready for you to review. Guess what? If you offer a videography service, maybe it's a good time to check out their YouTube channel to see if there's extra value you can add to their business. And we also have a website title and a website generator. Let's say if you want to do SEO service, maybe it's a good time to check out their website title. For example, the rule number three, they might be able to optimize their SEO by inserting some more strings after their business name, such as CA, Real Estate, California, Real Estate Agency. So this way they have a higher probability to be shown on the first results of Google. And if you offer web design service or technical support, maybe it's a really good time to look at this entire column. For example, rule number 17, clearly their WordPress is outdated. It's at 4.7.5 and some other ones are at 6.0.2. Maybe you can reach out to this 4.7.5 and you can help them to update their database. So that again, really open up some more conversation so you can offer massive value to the business. And towards the last few column, we have a website has a Facebook pixel installed or website has a Google tag manager installed. If you do online marketing paid ads, maybe by checking out if they have a Facebook pixel installed, this gives you a clear indication maybe they are currently running Facebook ads or Google ads or they're not. That is pretty much it. You can see that how powerful our scraper is. Within a few clicks within a minute or two you input all the parameters patiently give it some time let the all scraper do its automation and this can save you tons and tons of time and manual labor with that being said i'll see you guys in the next tutorial cheers